We're heading back to the main stage as play draws to a close here on day two. Action folded to Johnny Lodden in the small blind. 8-10 off suit. Sure, why not? He raises. Ziv Bakar recently joined the feature table. And he will re-raise with King Queen. Ah, it's a very small three bet with King Queen. It doesn't really work as a value raise or as a bluff. Lodden calls. I like just calling with King Queen, then you don't give away the fact that you have a pretty good hand. So Lodden out of position. But flops two pair. Bakar's up and down. Check. Lodden checks. He wants Bakar to continue at this oh so hard. Bakar bets his straight draw, 9,500. Johnny could raise here, or he could just call and raise a good turn. He does just call with two pair. The turn card is the deuce of clubs. That is a good turn. Johnny checks a second time. And I do think Bakar has to keep betting. He's got a really strong draw, and he can rep an over pair after the pre-flop three bet. This time he fires 19,500. No check raise from Johnny, he just calls. Huh, I think a lot of folks do raise there. And if you raise the turn, it makes leading the river make more sense. Three of clubs, the board bricks out for Bakar. Johnny going for value. He leads for 28,500. Should be a pretty easy fold with King Eye. But... Oh, he's bluffing. He raises to 65k. Risky raise and that he's kind of only repping flushes and nothings. I think it's hard to rep a flush after this line. Johnny is a non-believer. He calls. And he is right. And that is a big pop. More than 200k in the middle. And it's coming Lodden's way. But Carl looks like Robert Davi. Shouldn't he be chasing around the Goonies right now? Don't touch that. That's Willie's gold. Lawden will end day two among the chip leaders.